All right, I'm gonna go over the uh, the tricks in uh, Rambo for NES. Uh, the route, I think the route is. I mean, it's a little confusing until you you have everything memorized, but like it's pretty pretty straightforward once you do. But there's a a, a few spots where I use a use a, a clip into the wall and uh, just seeing it without like knowing the inputs is I don't think is completely obvious. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the main controls, jump, these attack, select, you can change your weapons. Uh, you can also pause and change your weapons while you're paused, which is important, which I will talk about uh, after this. Uh, if you hold down and jump, you get this little baby jump, which is, which is pretty useful in certain spots. And then for uh, certain platforms, if once you're in the air, if you hold down, you can drop through them. So this is also used in certain spots. <clears throat> oh yeah, the first, uh, so the wall clip. Uh, this was discovered by Rosentia, pretty sure. Uh, so what it is, you see the, the bottom row of bushes here? That's like one pile high. So our feet, when our feet are coming to that, we're gonna swing and you're gonna see you get stuck like that. If you're getting stuck like that, it means you're doing it right. That's the first part. Alright, so... You need to be standing still. If you're running, this does not work. So, standing still, get stuck in the wall, and hold down and left. If you do that, you're gonna flip into the wall. And, uh, this only works on right side walls, so... If you're on the other side of the screen, it's... it's for some reason, it just doesn't work. Uh, but this, this one probably saves, like, the least amount of time. Uh... But it's like right at the very start of the run. So you can jump up and then screen wrap into the screen transition and just come right to this door. So it's like a nice, saves a few seconds right at the start. But at yeah, the basics, you want to get it, you want to swing against the wall until you're getting stuck. Once you get stuck, you're holding down and left. And then you're gonna, you're gonna want to let go of left first, then let go of down. Obviously, if you let go of down first, and then you're still holding left, you're gonna walk out. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the first one, and yeah, I'll show you like a hand, handful uh, more spots that, that you do it. Uh, this is this is another trick uh, that is very important to the run. So, uh, so if I take a, a hit, that's gonna kill me. So we're dead right now. If I if I let this go, if I unpause, after you after you're at zero health, uh you have like a little bit more than a second before you're actually dead. So what you can do during that second is pause. So we're 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 safe right now. And then select over and then use one of your health potions. So this is, use this like all the time during the run. Like you take your final hit and then you just pause and then you can refill your health and then, and then you're alive <laughs> and you can continue. So getting used to just pausing, select, select, B to use it. And then you go. But yeah, that's a, that's a very, another very important thing at the, the game is kind enough to let you uh, save yourself, but <laughs> it's very nice. Right, next spot is uh, so this part, this bridge, you're supposed to cross the top of it. You're supposed to go around a couple of screens and then jump across it. Uh, and these bubbles can like knock you down. Uh, but there's a, a back door that that you can just enter and start down here automatically. So we can just do the same thing. Our one tile high is now the water, so we just do the same thing, and we can just jump up, and that's a shortcut. Skips uh, a couple of screens. I don't remember how much this one saves. And then, uh, not too long after this in the run, we're gonna come to, if you watch the, the run, we come to uh, another bridge that we do the same thing. We skip another, and I think, well, I, I think like, combined, they save, like, at least 40 seconds. But, yeah, that's that one. Nah. And we're on to the next one. 
This one is in, uh, <clears throat> it's in the section with all the monkeys on this screen. Uh, this one, it's the same, same thing. And this is another one where we're gonna screen wrap. Uh, this one saves, this one saves having to go through this screen, which, this one saves more time than, oops. This one saves more time than, and then you just go. Than the, the very first one that I showed. Uh, and it saves, uh, like, risk of taking damage on this screen. But, well, once you, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty, pretty simple to do. Uh, but yeah, we have, uh, uh just... Just a couple more after this. Right, this one, this is probably this is either the biggest or this this is might be the second second biggest one. Uh, so this is where you you go talk to the, the the one boss where you hit him and his head turns big, and then you're supposed to like go all the way back a different way through the base. But you come to this dead end which we already passed uh, on the way into. The, this is just the second room into the base. Uh, yeah, right here, you can do the same thing. And just jump out, and then just go. <laughs> so this this saves, like, I think at least a minute to do this one. Uh, you want to be careful. You want to be careful uh, when you exit here. If this enemy is right above you, he'll knock you back down into here. Uh, there is also another way to do this clip, which is how, how I do it. Uh, you can, if you can just, you can just jump into the, the upper corner and then hold down and left, like that. And that will also clip you in, then you can jump out. But yeah, this is what happens if you try and jump out. Oh! Right, yeah, you get, you get knocked back in if, uh... If you're not careful with your timing jumping out. Uh, yeah, then there's just, uh, one more big one after this. So there's, there's actually two more. Forgot about this little one. <clears throat> so yeah, normally you go here and then you gotta go through this screen. And uh, this is the very final area. And so the enemies here start to hit like really hard. And we don't have like, we have, usually have 200 health. 200 max health here. Uh, which, what you can do is, for some reason, you can do it, you can do the, the wall clip here and then it puts you at the left side of the next screen. So you just skip that whole screen like that. Like immediately from the start, which is very nice. And then and then that will take us to to the final one. Okay, so we we uh we battled through the, the final area. We got to the, the final POW to save. And then what you're supposed to do is go back out and then actually I've never actually done it, but you're supposed to backtrack and you fight a, a big helicopter boss. Or, you just do the same same one we just did inside the base, and you just jump out here. And, conveniently, we were right here back at the helicopter, and then this takes you back to our home base, and you have, the, you're like, two more conversations, and then the game is over. So this one, this is the, probably the biggest one in the whole game. And, yeah, you can do it the, the same way. You can do it the normal wall clip way, or you can do the the jump in the corner way that I do it. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's pretty much all the tricks in the game. So it's a lot, it's a lot about just knowing where all the enemies are so you can keep your health up. That's like the most of the run. And yeah, just trying to like optimize your movements and then just get these, uh, get these few tricks. But yeah, hopefully this is helpful if, uh, anyone wants to to go ahead and learn this run. It is a, it is a fun run. I, I actually do enjoy this game a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, that is it.